Though I myself have reasons for such confidence. If someone else thinks they have reasons to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in regards to the law, a Pharisee, as for zeal, persecuting the church, as for righteousness, based on the law, faultless. But whatever we are gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord for whose sake I have lost all things I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law but that which is through faith in Christ the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his suffering, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us, then, who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point, you think differently. That too, God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters. And just as you have us as a model, keep your eye on those who live as we do. For as I have often told you before and now tell you again, even with tears, many, li many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach. And their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a savior from here, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read verse 4, chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, Stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friends. Hallelujah. Stand firm. Now, I want you to understand that our priority is different. Especially when 
we come to Christ, professing to be his, professing to be saved by his power, professing that we are saved by the blood shed at the cross of Calvary. The moment we come to Christ, your priority becomes different. But it is unfortunate that we don't live up to the standard that God has for us. He says, do not put confidence in the flesh. Hallelujah. No confidence. And Paul, who was speaking to us here, says, I have every reason to put confidence in the flesh. Born as an Israelite in the tribe of Benjamin, as a lawyer, and just not ordinary lawyer, but a Pharisee, and also, as for zeal, he was persecuting the church. As for the law, he was faultless. He knows the law and he maintains the law. He ensures that he keeps the law. But whatever reason for this confidence, he said, I will destroy all of them because my confidence is not in the flesh but in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this morning we're going to pray but I just have these few words for you. Removing confidence in the flesh. Ensuring that every confidence you have in the flesh will be destroyed, will be disregarded, and ensure that your confidence is in Christ. Hallelujah. Whatever you think is gain. Consider it loss for the sake of Christ. And I'm going to explain to you. You know, in the world, we have pride. Sometimes we begin to measure class. I don't think this is my class. Hallelujah. Amen. This person, if I was not a Christian, I would never have spoken to this kind of person. People know me. Hallelujah. So, you know, th those kind of confidence, like, you don't want to speak to people that look certain way. You don't want to communicate with them. You don't have anything. You don't want to have anything to do with them. So, pride is part of self-confidence. You're proud because probably you have more than five degrees Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, you don't talk to anyone who has no degree. You don't talk to anyone who has a certain kind of mentality. You call them low class. But when you come to Christ, if you want to proceed want to succeed if you want to make it having the kingdom of God you have to delete this kind of mindset from yourself hallelujah knowing that in God there is no free there is no master there is no slave 
that we are all precious to God. Hallelujah. We are equal before God. The only thing that is different that we have different responsibilities. And that's the reason why we should not envy anyone. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like we have it in the world. There are people who are medical doctors. There are people who are nurses. There are people who are policemen. There are people who are um, technology professionals. There are different sections. And depending on your job, you get the kind of money you get because of what you do. Hallelujah. Having said that, it will not make a medical doctor to tell the policeman that his job is nonsense. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And the policeman who has been equipped with all the <clears throat> instruments to keep peace and maintain order will not come to the doctor and say, what you are doing is nonsense. Hallelujah. We have different sections. So, depending on the on your um, job, depending on the responsibility that God gives to you, He gives you the an anointing that is equal to the responsibility that He gives you. That doesn't mean that this person is better than the other. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And that is why this morning I would like you to think about everything that has given you confidence in the flesh. I have my car. I have my house. And I feed myself so nobody can talk to me anyhow. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah, that is what we all struggle and work hard to ensure that nobody pays our bills so that we can be confident. But with all that, the Bible said, do not have confidence in the flesh. Confidence in the flesh is an enmity with God. Hallelujah. For the sake of Christ, all the things that brings confidence in the flesh is regarded as garbage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's regarded as garbage. It's not something to be touched. But I want you to know that you have to be very, very careful. That is what the scripture is warning us here. Being careful to who we associate ourselves with. The Bible called them dogs. It said beware of dogs. You know what it means? Hypocrisy. Hallelujah. People that go back to their vomit. Amen. Amen. Dogs vomit and take it back. That is dogs. He said, beware of these dogs. Glory to God. Those whose their God is their stomach. All they think about is what they can consume. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're coming after you. And why are they coming after you? What they can get. What they can consume. He said, beware of these ones. Because they are the eaters of flesh. Their mind is set on earthly things. The mind, be careful of those who comes 
to find out how many houses you have bought this year. Hallelujah. Amen. And how many times you have changed your cars. And how many times you go to the shopping mall to change your wardrobe. How many times, you know, their discussion is about earthly things. He said, be mindful of these people. Be careful. People coming after you for what they can get. It's all about what they can get. It's all about earthly things. Be careful. Be careful. Set your mind in the things above. Set your mind in Christ. Set your mind in Christ. Don't allow your mind to be destroyed. Don't allow your mind to be distracted. Hallelujah. Because this is the only way God will begin to unveil the revelation for you. How many times... In recent time, have you heard the songs that is being sung in heaven? Amen? How many times have God taken you to that realm where you hear the songs and the hymns being sung by the angels? <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes, because our mind is clouded, even when God is speaking to you, you don't hear. Because your mind is all over the place. You are, the Bible said, don't set your mind on earthly things alone. Do not be, do not be confident in the flesh. Don't think you are secure because at least you have Ten months worth of bills. Amen. You can pay your bills. The Bible says, don't be confident. Let it not be your confidence. Let your confidence be in Christ. As Christ lives, I will live also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to pray this morning. Wherever you are, I want you to pray right now. That any way you have been confident, you know, it is very tricky. Sometimes you are exhibiting it, but you don't even know. But right now, we're going to pray. Confidence in the flesh blocks your blessing. Confidence in the flesh can deter your blessing. Can make it stay far from you. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Whatever confidence that I've had in the past in my flesh, I denounce it today. I dissolve it today. I destroy it today. No confidence. The Bible says flesh cannot glory in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Flesh and blood. You are flesh cannot glory in the presence of God. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Every confidence that I have in my flesh. This morning, I deny it. I destroy it. It can no longer be part of me. No more confidence in my flesh. I reject it this morning. Any way that my family has, has confidence in the flesh, we dissolve it this morning. It can no longer be our portion. Hallelujah. Gape Romo Skebranania. Begin to confess that. Begin to declare it. No confidence in the flesh. No confidence in the flesh. I have no confidence in the flesh. I reject it this morning. I refuse to continue to have confidence in the flesh. I reject it. The Bible said that God resists the pride. Pride is part of the flesh that when he arises, 
You begin to talk. Do you know me? Do you know who I am? How can you do that to me? I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I refuse and I reject the arm of flesh. I shall have no confidence in flesh anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There are two people who are about to take their exams. The Lord said, I should tell you this morning, you're about to take your endless exam, board exam. The Lord says that your confidence should not be in the flesh. He said, trust me, and I will show you the mystery of success. He said, he said trust me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is God. There is nothing impossible. I'm not telling you what I have not witnessed. Open your mouth. Declare it. I have no confidence in the flesh. My confidence is in you, O Lord. My confidence is in Christ Jesus. My confidence is in his mercies. My confidence is in his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. like the confidence of my family is in Christ Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. O oh Lord, decree and declare this morning. The declaration is that your family confidence is in Christ, not in the arm of flesh, not in the flesh, not in the flesh. You, I want you to join this prayer. Hallelujah. Any of you that is going to take any kind of exam, whatever exam it is, whatever license it is, I want you to join your faith right now because God is about to do something. He said, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Because I will do it. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Just raise your hand wherever you are. Decree it. My confidence is in you. My confidence is in you, Christ. My confidence is in you. Hallelujah. I have no confidence in the flesh. My confidence is in you, oh Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want you to also pray that the glory of God will transform you transformation anything that the enemy has put on your face hallelujah there is somebody God is about to remove that mask on your face there is a mask that when somebody come to you for marriage Somehow, somehow, and it has been happening for years. Somehow, somehow, it will just dissolve and go. And right now, you are in a kind of confusion. Confusion. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to arrange your life. God is coming for you right now. God is about to change your condition. Change things for better. Change things so that you will know that he is God and he is no man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Raise your hand and say, Lord, every mask on my face that is not allowing the glory of God 
to show in my life. I dissolve it this morning. Listen, every mask on your face, every mask that the enemy has set up on your face to make people not to see you, to make you to be irrelevant, to make your life not to matter. Right now, that is changing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Decree and declare it. I command that every mask set up on my face by the enemy is totally destroyed right now. I remove it by the power in the name of Jesus. I tear it down by the power in the name of Jesus. I remove it from my children. I remove it from my siblings. I remove it from my children. I remove it from my children. I remove it from my siblings. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Just wave your hand wherever you are. Raise your hand. Raise your hand and wave it. Wave it. The last prayer point I want you to pray for yourself right now is the spirit of delay. Delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Delay, delay. When you're supposed to be flying, you are being carried with a wheelbarrow. It's a delay, delay journey. When you're supposed to be flying, hallelujah, there is somebody here who saw herself pushing a wheelbarrow. You dreamt this morning and the power of God is delivering you this morning from such omen is a spirit of delay 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 we reject every delay patona barata zima prokobo saga diaku man predegedes repanda la cabos repanda la cabos repanda la cabos repanda la cabos Vete mara pomporia cobos in pranagados. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we reject e cabanos. Vecri mayanda labos. We reject every delay, every spirit of delay, delaying your success, delaying your health, delaying your healing, delaying your journey, delaying everything concerning you. We remove that frustration right now. The spirit of delay and frustration. We cancel it. We destroy it. We cancel it. We destroy it. We demolish it right now. And we begin to confess that no more delay in the name of Jesus. No more delay of getting that wonderful job that pays somebody here is getting a job. You have been doing all kind of job, but God is about to release you to where you get 120,000 per annum. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Glory, glory. Just wave your hand. Say, that delay is no more. That delay is no more. That delay is no more. Every spirit that is becoming a barricade, a barrier, I command by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God consume you and every material that you have set to block my way, to delay my children, to delay my family. From now henceforth, we are progressing. No more delay. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray for everyone on this prayer line, under the spiritual zone, that they will be healed from every kind of sickness. Sicknesses, I command you out of their life. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, 
with the mouth of protection. Protect everyone. I protect you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your children. I cover your family. You're going out and coming in. I cover you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. And I will talk to you by this time tomorrow. Bye-bye.